We all know how this sport works, and you know, if you've been rolling for any amount of time, you know when somebody's got a deep, tight arm bar on you. Yeah. And you're able to tap in this thing. But if you don't tap, that's your option, you know? The ref is waiting to watch for your tap. Right. You know, no matter how much that arm's bending or what's happening, he's waiting for you to tap. Because we've all seen cases too. Misha, uh, Misha Tate's perfect. The first arm bar she yeah. got out of. Yeah. And then continued to fight and punch and everything else. So it's up to you. If you want to be stupid <laughs> or prideful yeah. and not tap, you absolutely positively know what's going to happen. Yeah. You know? Are you surprised to see, you know, a, a woman actually staying there, not tapping, still not tapping, as the arm dislocated? Now, the thing that I loved about the, you know, when we talk about women's MMA, I say the same thing all the time. There are not enough good women to create an entire division. Right. You know? But every once in a while, there will be a fight, that, and Misha Tate and Ronda Rousey was that fight. I mean, Misha Tate... Uh, she's one of the best in the world yeah. in her weight class. She's tough and she's nasty, man. I mean, to sit there, I know what it feels like to be in an arm bar. Yeah. Let me tell you what, I would have tapped to yeah. what she didn't tap to. So as much as I, you heard me say two minutes ago how stupid it is not to tap, <laughs> got to respect it too. And she got out of that first arm bar. Yeah, yeah, It'd be one thing did. if she got into that arm bar and was like, I'm not tapping. She got out of the first one. Yeah, yeah. You know, when Ronda Rousey gets you in an arm bar, that's serious shit. Yeah. So you mentioned it, that there's not enough women to create a, a good division. Enough really good women. True, true. Really good women to, to make it an exciting event, right? Um, well, no, to, to, to create an, a division. You a don't have enough really, really good women to create a division. For instance, my, my best example is the heavyweight division. Because right. every other division I have is stacked with guys, you know what I mean? Yeah. The heavyweight division has always been a division. It's hard to find really big good talented guys that aren't playing football or basketball or you know some other sport. Well now, our heavyweight division is at a point where, <clears throat> for instance, this heavyweight card that we're doing this summer. Yeah. People are like, oh shit, people are pumped about this card. Yeah. Every heavyweight fight is a great fight against great fighters, you know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. We don't have a, a deep enough women's division to where, I, you know, to be honest with you, I think we're gonna be in a position with Ronda Rousey pretty soon where uh, there's nobody exciting for her to fight. Can you see her matching up against Chris Eibold? Um, yeah, that'll probably happen. You think it you will? Know, oh yeah, I think that'll happen. So Sh She'll make the weight. Yeah, so say five years from now, or even three years from now, when as the sport continues to grow and you know, females as well as men continue to improve the level of, of, the, of the fight game, can you see one, a, a women's division in the UFC ever, I know we've spoken about it before, and two, potentially a women's ultimate fighter. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, when you talk about my two year, five year, you know, I, I have no idea. That's something I've never thought of. We'll have to see how women's MMA uh, progresses. The fact that there is a Ronda Rousey and a Misha Tate right now, and the things that I've been saying to you since we've been talking here on how big this thing's getting all over the world, and you know, there are Lots of women training in this sport. Right. We'll see what happens. So there is. I hope the answer is yes. Okay. So you 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 would be for it if, as long as there's enough quality. I'll tell you right now, you know, and and I'll be hundred percent honest with you, I was never a fan, man. I was really? Never, 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 never. I went to this show up in Northern California, eight, seven, eight years ago, right? And there was this fight with these two girls. Okay, one girl fought just like Randy Couture, and looked just like Randy Couture, by the way. Um, the other girl was this beautiful girl that looked like she took about 12 Tybo classes, okay? Wow. And it was one of the worst beatings I've ever seen, right? Now, sometimes people will say, oh, God, this sport's so brutal, I can't watch, when men are fighting. Yeah. Now, when you throw women in there, and, and those type of fights happen with women, it's just, especially when you get a lopsided. You know, a lopsided fight. Yeah. And yeah. that's why I always say having a division. But I will tell you this, and be just being honest, Ronda Rousey and Misha Tate have changed my mind. They have changed my mind. I was excited for that fight. Yeah. Um, it was an awesome fight. Yes. They both look like 
two skilled mixed martial artists, and uh, they changed my mind. So if more Misha Tates and more Ronda Rousey's keep popping up, the answer would be yes.